So what happened was that little pecker brain, um, he attacked me. And you know, you, you don't you don't want to have them view you as a threat, okay? So the immediate reaction is to kick them. No, don't do that, okay? Don't. Because then they'll be scared of you and then they'll be, a, you know, they'll see you as a threat. So what you want to do, they're going to be near you when they're attacking, okay? And you got to do this at a young age. You, you can't do it when they have talent, you know, to dig into you. Now, he's come at me a couple of times, all right? And the first time he just ran up on me and <coughs> would you quit interrupting? First time he just kind of ran up to me and I really couldn't catch him. So, uh, yeah. And you don't want to chase him either. You gotta be, you gotta be calm when you do this stuff. You can't be mad. Okay. Because it's an animal. All right. They, they, they're just doing what's instinctive to them. Okay. So when you punish an animal, you have to actually catch them doing it without them knowing that you saw them okay does that make sense so and you just want to get their attention just like if it's a dog you just kind of you know you nibble at their side and they'll stop immediately but him what you want to do is they'll be attacking you all right so it'll be close to you you got to crouch down and when he comes after you you just grab him by the neck okay and you gently push them to the ground and you hold them down okay you hold them down in about three seconds he's gonna react and fight you have to hold him on his side be careful not to damage any of his wings okay you don't want to hurt him you just want to tell him that you're the boss seriously again with the interruption So, and you just want to hold him down. In about three seconds, he's going to fight. And then he's going to fight for about mm, five seconds. Okay, you have to control his wings. His wings have to be tucked into his body so he doesn't hurt him. You hold him down on his side, okay, by his neck. And you hold him there till he stops struggling. And then you continue to hold him there for, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. And then you get up and you walk away. And he will stay there. He will stay there for... Dude, seriously? Come on. And he'll stay there for um, about 15 seconds. And when he gets up, he'll get up slowly. All right? So that's when you know... That's when you know that you've been successful. Now, I've only had to do that once to him. And he's been fine ever since. If he does it again, we will repeat the same routine. I will grab him by the neck when he's attacking, protect his wings, hold him down on his side on the ground till he stops fussing and then get up and walk away like nothing. That's it. Elvis. Come on. Paulina. We had to give her a jacket because he was tearing her ass up. Mm-hmm. Beautiful voice, Alvis. Beautiful.